morning everyone and welcome back to our virtual field day. Just wanted to bring you another quick update on some of the autumn chickpea trial. This here is PBA hat trick about a couple of weeks after I, um, I filmed the last video. So it's now doing what PBA hat trick typically does even in winter, gets to its potting stage and then um, quickly accelerates through potting. So um, even though it's still not that advanced compared to some of the other lines, it's, got, um, it's putting on the pods relatively quickly compared to the other lines. Um, I don't know if it's photo period insensit uh, sensitivity as such, probably has a little bit, um, but in general I think just um, this one's just a little bit too late um, for this type of system. I'll turn the camera around now. So this one here is the PBA hat trick and I'll just show you a few more plots. So this one here, very tall, there's my hand for, oh, there's my hand for scale. Um, this one here is a line came in from overseas, very erect. Um, you can see here on the edge where we've slashed the pathway out. Um, it's still standing up very well, although it has started to lodge in the middle of the plot. Um, but this particular line, way too late. Uh, definitely no good for this system. Isn't going to reach potting at all. So uh, that one was a bit useless. And same with this one here. Um, another line that came in with supposed heat sensitive, uh, uh, sorry, heat tolerance. Um, got a few pods on it, um, but yeah, in general, this one's um, a bit useless as well. Moving over to here, this is a cross from PBA Hattrick. Um, so you can see here a lot more pods on it um, and starting to finish up. So if I rattle some of these ones, I can feel the seed that's separated off. Can you hear that beautiful sound? And then over here as well, um, this is another offspring of a PBA Hattrick cross. So this one's got a bit more, um, bit more biomass on it, slightly taller, slightly later, although part of that is um, the way that it was planted. Um, but you can still see these two a lot more advanced than PBA Hattrick and shows the power of breeding um, for this system, but also the power of breeding for producing lines relevant to growers in any situation. Here I am kneeling down next to a Kyabra plot. I didn't actually bother filming Kyabra for any of the previous videos because I didn't really think it was going to be much good for this system. Um, but it is doing like what Kyabra does in winter, just once it starts to pod, it pods quite quickly. So it's still doing that interestingly here. Again, I don't think it's going to be the best for this particular system, but who knows? It's, um, it's starting to pod now and we're into mid-May and the temperatures are quite cool. As you can see, I'm very rugged up this morning. Um, still flowering. But, um, but for a grower, if they wanted to plant a winter crop after this autumn crop, this one would definitely need to be stopped by now. And um, whether it's going to produce enough pods to make a, um, a worthy yield for um, running this crop at all remains to be seen. The other thing to note, though, is that it's quite erect. Um, and that's, that's good. That's really what you need in this system when they, um, they're putting on so much biomass. Um, you don't want them to be prostrate in May, they need to be able to be erect right on the edge here, so these front ones have been slashed out. Last couple I wanted to show you this morning. This one's Genesis 079, um, very late, um, definitely not worth growing in this particular system. Its lateness this year might have been a bit reflective of the very wet February we had, so it's um, had a lot of exposure to its pre-emergent during that wet soaking phase, which it really didn't like. Um, but definitely too late, definitely too short, might have photo period sensitivity, um, not going to work in this system. But that's not to say Kabulis won't work at all. I think it's worth looking into. So this one over here is PBA Monarch um, and there's lots of pods in it. So if you look into the canopy, plenty of pods down there um, and this is quite a large seeded Kabuli, um, not usually grown in the north, um, but maybe with a bit of research um, and development, maybe some breeding, large seeded Kabulis might be suited um, for this particular autumn system. Mm -hmm.